poultry farming is so easy if you follow the rules if you follow this vaccination schedule biosecurity but if you mess around with vaccines you're going to make a huge loss and then you will be discouraged and then start saying that poultry farming is hard when in actual sense is it's not hard Hey friends, welcome back to this channel. My name is Lillian and I'm from Kevara Farm. So from Kevara Farm, we bring to you all the information about poultry farming. We tell you how you can brood your birds, how you can control diseases, basically all the information about poultry farming. So please, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please consider subscribing and to our returning viewers, Thank you so much for watching us. Thank you so much for joining this family. And please always consider liking, comment below the comment section. Ask us about everything. We are willing to give you all the answers that you need. So in today's episode, we have a great topic. We are going to talk about um, poultry diseases and the vaccination schedule. So before this video ends, you will learn how the poultry diseases can attack your birds and how you can control them by giving them a vaccine. So, watch up to the end. Thank you for sticking around. Um, if there is any farmer out there who is watching me, we all know how these poultry diseases are so dangerous. They are so dangerous in that they do not have cure and always once they affect you or you almost lose all your flock at your farm. And this is a very big loss. So it is always better for us to present our birds from uh, being affected by these diseases, these dangerous diseases. So, the number one vaccine that is always given to our birds, and this is always given to the old chicks, and it's called Marek, and it's always given by hatcheries. So make sure when, you're, when you go to pick your birds, you always ask if they've vaccinated your birds with this vaccine. And they always, uh, most of the hatcheries, they always spray the chicks because uh, they have very many chicks, so they just give it by spraying. The signs and symptoms of this disease, um, uh, mostly it affects the nervous system. Uh, when I say nervous system here, you will notice the paralysis of wings, uh, paralysis of legs, and then you will also notice the greenish diarrhea. Uh, loss of appetite, uh, loss of weight. When you see these signs, uh, when your birds are still so young, you you may think about this disease that your birds could be uh, could have been attacked by this dangerous disease. And then the second vaccine that we give to our birds, and this is always on uh, when the birds are one week, it is Newcastle. We give Newcastle IB to present them from Newcastle. This Newcastle disease is so dangerous in that once it affects your birds, you can lose all your flock or you can lose around 99% of your, of your flock. The problem is that they do not have cure. There is no treatment for this disease. Um, the signs and symptoms are on how you can tell that your birds could be suffering from this disease. It also affects the nervous system. And then there is bright greenish diarrhea. Uh, you can also see coughing, uh, your birds start coughing. And then loss of appetite, you will put feed, they will not eat it. And then loss of weight, dehydration. When you see all these signs, you could tell that your birds could have been attacked by this disease. Uh, there are two ways of giving this vaccine. We give them through water and which is the easiest way 
or we can give uh, through the nozzle drop or the eye drop. Um, when you're going to give your birds through the, drink, the drinking water, what you have to consider, uh, you, you, for four hours, you do not give your birds water. You leave them to starve. Uh, after those hours, your birds will be so thirsty in that when you put the medicine, they will just uh, drink, they will rush to drink. And what we need is just a sip. And then you mix your water properly and you put in the drinkers, you put little, little portions of water in that when you put it there within 30 minutes, they've drunk all the water and finished it. So that way, the medicine will be effective. And then another thing you have to know, you do not vaccinate birds which are sick. And if you're going to use uh, drinking water, you have to make sure that the water you're using is chlorine free. And then if you've been giving your birds vitamins, uh, the day before uh, the vaccination day, you give them plain water and then the following day you vaccinate. That way the medicine will be so effective and make sure that after giving uh, uh, after giving the vaccine, you clean properly the buckets or the basins that you've used because after some time, uh, let's say two to three hours, that medicine will become so poisonous. So make sure you clean the containers that you've used, you clean them so, so thoroughly. Or if you use the syringes, if you use, if, uh, if you give your buds through the eye drop or the nozzle drop, you make sure that you throw very far away those syringes that you've used. Then the third vaccine that we give to our birds, and that is always weak to, is gumboro. Gumboro also is so dangerous in that it can also kill all your frog. So it's better for us to prevent than cure. And always there is no cure. You have to know that there is no cure for these diseases. So you have to make sure that you control, you prevent. So by, do, by vaccinating your birds, you're preventing. So Gumbolo is also given uh, using two methods. That is the eye drop and through water. And the signs on how you can see that your birds could actually uh, have been attacked by this disease uh, you will see them trembling. Gumbaro affects only the young birds, the young chicks. It doesn't affect the mature birds. So you will notice your birds trembling, and then you will see the ruffled feathers. Um, there is dehydration, loss of appetite. Always in poultry farming, if you see that your birds are not eating their feed, you have to know that there is a problem which you have to to track and make sure you find uh, you find that problem so then the fourth uh, medicine that we give to our birds and that is week four we repeat the gumbolo uh, we we are giving it uh consecutive weeks it's because it affects the young birds so we have to make sure you make sure that at least you have given your birds your chicks two vaccines two times so on week four we repeat gumbolo and we use the same ways uh, through water and through the nozzle drop week five we skip we do not give anything and then uh, week six we give fall pox fall pox is also so dangerous so we give a vaccine for it and ways of giving this fall pox is through stabbing the wing um, the signs and symptoms on how you can tell that your birds have this uh, fall pox, uh, you will see the swelling around their eyes, or the, uh, or the eyes are sealed, they are not opening, and then loss of appetite, uh, reduced water consumption, and then uh, week seven, we skip, we also do not give anything. And then on week eight, we are going to deworm. Uh, we also give deworming through water. You just mix uh, the water with, and always take note that this water has to be uh, chlorine free. 
So we just mix our medicine and we give to our birds uh, throughout the day. So the whole day you give your birds a diwama. Then on week nine, we give our birds uh, Newcastle. And this time we give them Newcastle Plain. And the procedure for giving this vaccine is the same as what we have talked about uh, on week one. And then week 10, we also skip. We don't give anything. Week 11, we don't give. Then week 12, we are going to give our medicine. Well, uh, then week 12, we are going to give our birds uh, fall typhoid. Fall typhoid in birds is so dangerous also. Actually, this disease doesn't affect the young chicks. It affects uh, birds which are mature. And we always uh, give it once. So we give it to prevent our birds from give, getting this disease. We, get, we give it once. And always when this disease affects, attacks your birds, and even if you treat them and they get killed, it is always recurrent. It always comes back. So it is always advisable that once they get this disease, you, you eliminate those birds which have been attacked, you separate them from the healthy birds. Because it is recurring, it will always come back. So the signs and symptoms on how you can know that um, the birds are getting this disease, they will stop eating, then they will be weak, then dehydration, and then eventually it will lead to death. You will see your birds start to die. And within a day, you can, you can lose all your birds. So after vaccinating your birds with this fall typhoid, uh, always now every month you give the warming and every month you repeat the Newcastle. Uh, the Newcastle. And please make sure that you note in your notebook you give at the same day of the month. So as it is so important to follow the vaccination schedule and vaccinate your birds, because what we have seen, according to what we have seen, we have seen that these diseases are not curable. They are, there is no treatment for these diseases. So you have to make sure that you prevent your birds from catching this, these diseases. You follow your vaccination dates. Please make sure that you follow these vaccination dates. Actually, this is the reason why people fear poultry. They fear poultry farming. Poultry farming is so easy if you follow the rules, if you follow this vaccination schedule, biosecurity. But if you mess around with vaccines, you're going to make a huge loss. And then you will be discouraged and then start saying that poultry farming is hard when in actual sense is it's not thank you so much for watching me i hope this information is going to help you please take note that i'm just giving you my schedule but always ask your local vets to give you the vaccination schedule because they know the conditions around the area where your farm is located and in most cases the hatcheries always give you these vaccination schedules again thank you for watching me Please consider subscribing if you haven't subscribed and like the video if you have liked the content which I've given you. So bye-bye. See you in another video.